Time is it? It's board game review time! Hey, today's game is humans. Yeah, not zombies. See, this time you're the zombie and you gotta kill humans! This is a really fun game because it comes with six new zombie characters. Let's look at them now. Cheerleader Zombie! Rah, rah. Working in a coal mine zombie. <laughs> Lawyer zombie. I went to Harvard. Wrestler zombie. Oh yeah, bring it on brother. I ain't scared of you, yeah. Rex zombie, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dr. Zombie, paging Dr. Zombie, come in please. As you see, the tile setup is the same way that they do zombies. Oh, but look, instead of picking your characters, you have to draw randomly from these cards. Each card gives their statistics and a little special power that they have. For instance, their movement, you don't roll for them, they can move four. Now you can move one of these four, but of course, at a time you can have ten. So you can move four of them one space, or one four spaces, and so on and so forth. Capture is when they come across a human. This is a human. Help me! The zombies are coming to get me! Ah! Now, once a big bad zombie has to catch up with a human, well, then it rolls the dice to see if it captured it. So, for instance, the doctor would need a three or better to capture him. Now, if he captures him, that may not be the end. See, there's a bunch of other cards with weapons that you can use. And you can, the, your opponent can arm the human. And then you'd have to take a wound. And of course, taking wounds, two cards. Uh, what are wound cards? Well, these are wound cards. See, if you pull two of the same card, well, that's where you get the wound. How do you know if you die? Well, taking wounds there. Two cards. Once he gets two of the same card, yeek, he's in trouble. Oh, by the way, if they pull a headshot, Ooh, he's automatically dead. But don't worry, because right here, where it says a do-over, they do get a do-over, meaning they can roll the dice again if they wish to. They also come with a special power each. Each one is different as well. Now, let's say that he captured the, zone, he captured the human, and everything's okay. Well, then he has to infect the human. Now, it says two cards. What are infect cards? Now, once you capture the human for good and you beat off any weapons that your opponent may have armed him with, you get to pull from these cards. Now, you have three choices. It may say you get to eat the human, which counts as a point. You get to infect the human, which means you get a second Dr. Zombie there, which would be really cool. Or, uh-oh, they escaped. And then that means the opponent rolls the dice and moves them that many spaces away from you. Bad card! But anyway, what you need is 10 points to win. So if he ate 10 people, that's 10 points. If he infected 10, he's won again. Those are the ways you can win at humans. Here are what the dice tokens look like. Uh, the numeric value doesn't really matter in this game. But that's what, how many dice you get, and you get to roll over. You get to turn in that dice token, and you get to re-roll again. These are barricade tokens. This means that a, a zombie cannot get into the building without breaking through a barricade. Hence, no barricade anymore. So if they rolled a 4, 5, or 6, they could put a little no barricade token right there and enter in. Now, it doesn't have to be at the door this time. If this was a whole street, he could go through here or here. Like I said, they can break in through windows or whatever, but once a barricade's set, that's the only way they can go in and out. A zombie, I mean. Humans, they can go out wherever and run for their lives. So, as you can see, a little bit more complicated than, you know, zombies, but still fun. I kind of wouldn't know because I've never played it before, but that's because I have no life and all my friends have something real to do over the weekends. But still seems like a fun game. You want to come over and play with me? Please. Or come back and visit me at cardco. Oh, cardco the blog.